Hello everyone, this is uh, Fadi Al-Thalatini and I am here today to present our conference paper under the title of Tuning of PID Controller Based on Tasmanian Devil Optimization for Unmanned Vehicles Presented to the IEEE 14th Control and System Graduate Research Colloquium uh, Of course the authors is myself uh, and uh, Dr. Ali Marzouki during the presentation, I am going to go through the background, the problem statement of the, of the research paper, the objective of the research, the system model used for the research, and the methodology implemented, uh, simulations and results, and of course, a conclusion of the research works. Uh, it has been uh, uh, in the recent years uh, noticed that uh, uh, th there are an increase, significant increase in the uh, utilization of uh, unmanned vehicles for different applications such as military applications, uh, scientific discoveries, uh, health applications, uh, and commercial ap applications indeed. So, uh, most of these applications are utilizing unmanned aerial vehicles, uh, underwater robotic, robotic manipulators, and unmanned underwater vehicles. Underwater vehicles. Uh, of course, these, uh, these uh, unmanned vehicles uh, are not uh, free of experiencing uh, practical issues, uh, such as disturbances. So, for example, the common driving uh, uh, system for, for such unmanned vehicles is DC motors where the input voltage can be dropped and as a result affect the performance of the system. Wind disturbance and ocean waves disturbance are also another important uh, are important aspects with regards to studying the disturbance effect on such uh, 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 vehicles and uh, 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 as a result uh, there, there should be uh, a controller in place in order to, uh, 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 in order to control the, the overall performance of the system, and uh, tune the dynamics of the system and uh, reject the disturbances. One of the uh, 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 one of the well-known controllers in, in theory and practice is the PID controller, and it is usually implemented in closed-loop configuration. Uh, PID controller is well known in tuning its parameters, uh, which are the gains of the controller, proportional, integral, and derivative gains. Uh, there are methods of tuning these parameters, and they are called uh, conventional tuning methods, such as Ziegler Nichols. But in the recent years, uh, it has been uh, uh, noticed that uh, researchers are focusing on utilizing optimization techniques in order to reach the optimal uh, tuning and the optimum performance of the PID controller. So the objective of this uh, research work uh, is to utilize a new method of optimization technique in order to achieve the speed tracking and uh, disturbance rejection uh, on, the, on the system and of course improving the uh, speed response characteristic of the unmanned vehicle uh, in, including the settling time <coughs> settling time uh, uh, maximum overshoot and uh, the, the the settling time and the maximum overshoot uh, of course in order to utilize a new method it has to be compared with uh, well known optimization methods and this is actually the core of the of the research work and of course at the end uh, the objective is to prove that the new optimization method utilized for this work uh, outperform uh, or has a superiority over the other optimization methods so for this for this research work we have uh, utilized uh, the system model uh, presented in here which consists of a DC motor and uh, a mechanical load and of course using the Kirchhoff uh, voltage law and the Newton law for the for the torque calculation we can come up with this block diagram which is used as a system model for the unmanned vehicle including the uh, uh, water 
and uh, underwater unmanned vehicle and uh, drones, for example. So the methodology is to apply the PID as, as we uh, uh, discussed earlier. Uh, we uh, implemented the PID controller on the uh, system model in a closed loop configuration. So the uh, output uh, uh, speed of the system will be compared with the reference speed. And in our case, it is uh, 500 RPM. So the error will be uh, fed into the PID controller. And uh, of course, there will be an optimization algorithm that will optimize an objective function. And uh, using this objective function, the parameters will, of the PID con controller will be calculated in order to uh, output uh, a control action that will uh, bring the uh, system output speed uh, 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 system output speed as same as the reference speed with uh, zero steady state error. So the disturbances that will be, uh, of course, there will be disturbances to be input to the to the system, and these disturbances are the wind disturbance, ocean wave disturbance, the voltage drop, and the sudden load uh, change. The optimization techniques in here that will be used and compared with the uh, uh, new method are the particle swarm optimization, the ant colony optimization, and the new method that will be utilized and this that has been utilized in this research work is the Tasmanian Devil optimization. The objective function that we have selected for this work uh, is the integral time absolute error, uh, ITA. So uh, to go deep in, into the uh, uh, aspect of the optimization methods, we have first the particle swarm optimization. Particle swarm optimization or PSO is uh, a, an optimization method that relies on the uh, movement of uh, birds, uh, a swarm of birds uh, toward a certain destination or a flock of fish uh, that uh, looks for food. So the optimi this optimization method starts with initiating the uh, initial population of the of the swarm of birds by using this uh, matrix. So these these elements inside the matrix are representing the uh, parameters of the PID controller uh, to be to be actually optimized. So uh, by by calculating the the initial population, uh, the objective function will be. Uh, the objective function is uh, will will be calculated, and uh, based on that, the parameters of the PID controller will be used in order to update the velocity of the swarm of bears, and as a result, to update the position. Uh, and here, and in order to utilize the best performance of the particular swarm optimization, we have used the weighing factor. Uh, that is uh, actually consists of the maximum and the minimum weighing factors with respect to the uh, maximum number of iterations. And uh, of course, the uh, algorithm will keep calculating the PID controller uh, parameters until it reach the maximum iteration number of iterations set. And uh, uh, as a result, it will print the PID controller parameters. For ant colony optimization, it is, uh, it is somehow similar uh, in, in nature, but uh, it has different steps. So actually, ant colony optimization is uh, dependent on the uh, movement of ants from the nest uh, looking for food, so to, uh, uh, they move towards the food. During their movement, uh, they move from one node to another node, and each Actually, each node is uh, represented by the PID, uh, the parameters of the PID controller. So it is actually dependent on two things, which are the scaling factor of the pheromone. Uh, and the pheromone actually is the substance that is uh, generated by the ant uh, whenever it moves from the nest to the food. And the food, of course, is uh, represented by the minimum uh, objective or the minimized objective function uh, and uh, there is a way in order to erase the formon for the unwanted parameters in order to reach the uh, optimum uh, uh, performance of the algorithm and as a result optimum uh, uh, 
performance of the PID controller. Uh, the new method that is used uh, in here is the Tasmanian Devil Optimization, which, uh, which is actually dependent on the uh, Tasmania, Tasmanian Devil uh, looking for uh, the strategy of looking for food. So in, in the Tasmanian Devil Optimization technique, there are two sub-techniques, uh, which are the carry-on strategy and the prey strategy. And of course, before selecting one of them, which is uh, a, random, a random selection process, uh, it is similar to the particle cell optimization where the initial population will be calculated to represent the parameters of the PID controller. So the uh, Tasmanian devil optimization start by uh, setting the number of Tasmanian devils and the, uh, number of, the maximum number of iterations then the initial population will be calculated, which represent the parameters of the PID controller. Uh, then one of the strategy, the carry-on or the prey, will be selected based on a probability of 50%. Uh, and uh, uh, if one of them is selected, the position of the, of the uh, Tasmanian devil towards the, the prey or the carry-on will be calculated, which uh, this position will represent actually the optimum parameters of the PID controller, and of course the the uh, uh, closing criteria for the optimization technique is to reach the maximum number of iterations. For the simulation uh, parameters, and actually in order to uh, conduct the simulations, we have used MATLAB Simulink. We have written the optimization codes in MATLAB, and we have used Simulink in order to build the system model, so we are inputting the parameters of the PID controller whenever they are calculated in the optimization code, and then it will be sent to the uh, Simulink model in order to uh, calculate the output speed. So in here we can see the parameters of the system model, and in here for, uh, we can see actually the simulation parameters for the optimization techniques, for the PSO, for the ACO, and for the TDO. And for, of course, for fair comparison, we have used uh, the same number of particles uh, uh, and the same number of iterations, same number of ants, which is the same number of particles and same number of Tasmanian devils by using 50 particles for each optimization technique. And here we can see the simulation results uh, plotted by uh, MATLAB, and we can see uh, four plots here. The first one represents the speed response of the system. Uh, with no disturbances added to the system. The second one, uh, we can see that uh, we can see the speed response of the system and uh, with constant voltage uh, drop as well as a sudden load change at five seconds after starting the simulation. The third one is the speed response of the system with ocean waves uh, disturbances introduced to the system. And the last, uh, the last one is the speed response of the system with one disturbances. And we can see, of course, in, in all, all plots, we can see that the controller, uh, using all optimization methods, uh, was able, were able to uh, achieve speed, uh, uh, reference speed tracking, as well as the disturbance rejection. Uh, here we can see the simulation results and the comparison, actually, between the uh, speed response characteristics with respect to each uh, optimization algorithm. So for example, when there is no disturbance added to the system, the uh, Tasmanian devil, which is the new method, is outperforming the other methods with respect to the overshoot, settling time, and uh, of course, it reached zero steady state error. When a constant voltage drop and the sudden load disturbances are added to the, to the system, we can see that the TDO is again outperforming the other optimization method by uh, uh, having a significant improvement in the overshoot, settling time, and of course zero steady state error. In ocean waves disturbance, we can see that the TDO is outperforming in the over maximum overshoot and in the steady state error. And in the wind disturbance, we can see that uh, it is outperforming in the over maximum overshoot and in the settling time. So, in conclusion, uh, we have seen that we have uh, utilized a new method of optimization uh, 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 technique and uh, uh, we have used it in order to obtain the opt optimal parameters of the PID controller in order to achieve 
reference tracking and disturbance rejection and of course using all methods uh, we have uh, been able to to achieve both reference tracking of 500 rpm as well as uh, reject different type of disturbances such as uh, wind disturbance and ocean waves disturbance and load change as well and uh, as a conclusion we can we have seen that the uh, tdo has a superiority over the other optimization methods it has outperformed in the majority of the cases and the majority of the speed response characteristics this is it thank you so much for listening and here are the uh, references